All right, everybody, welcome back to the KSR YouTube channel. I promised you guys a video talking about a new car that I have purchased. And uh, it's a car that we've got a lot of history with, and we're gonna explain some of that and show you some of the history of this car later in this video. But uh, what is that car? You can hear trailer happenings and stuff behind me over here. Of course, buy something new and it's starting to rain on us, but check that out. It is another SC300. And if you see, it's already got KSR stickers on it. It's because back in 2013, we built this car. So this is a car that my good friend David had us build years ago, and he was a huge part of the build. Did a lot of the maintenance, all kinds of stuff on it, the research and engineering. And this car is what led me to buy the white one that I now use for the burnout stuff. So we'll get this thing unloaded before it starts raining heavier. Then we'll show you guys what this thing is all about. All right, while you're here on the channel, please like and subscribe. Ooh, almost fell over. But uh, that helps us obviously grow the channel, which lately been really kicking butt with new subscribers and welcome to all you guys that are new to the channel. If you didn't know, winwithksr.com. We have all kinds of KSR merch from shirts, t-shirts, hats, lanyards, stickers, even some posters of like Soccer Mom. Some of you have been asking about Soccer Mom. We're waiting on some parts. It's coming. We've got some new stuff to show you that we're gonna try this time around. Not that there was any parts failure that was the reason for the problem with Soccer Mom. I uh, missed something in the data log that I should have seen and ran it out of fuel. And that's kind of what was the end of uh, Soccer Mom that trenched the cylinder head on it that last day. But anyways, let's look at this SC300. Like I said, we built this car back 2012. That's kind of when we started building it. We did all the cage work in it. Mounted the seat for David. And then later, we put a mega squared ECU in it so that we could do some tuning. Very similar in build to, eh, we'll crank it up in a second. Very similar to my SC, because we, we had taken a lot of the stuff that we had learned from this car and put it right into my SC. And we used that car as a rental car. So actually, yeah, there's a picture of it racing right there. on track with uh, that car, which you guys haven't seen yet either, but it's uh, stuffed away in a trailer somewhere. We'll get it out too and maybe get it on the track. I don't know about this year, but at some point. But this thing has upgraded brakes on it. Naturally aspirated 2JZ, which uh, maybe we'll get the hood off here in a second. Everything about this thing is kind of engineered for the champ car endurance road racing series that we used to race the car in. David did send me a spreadsheet this morning of every race that the car has done and where it finished. There was a streak of races where David Lee that owns the Viper and myself drove this car and we had six wins in a row in the champ car series. Three of those at Daytona and another three at Sebring. They were 14 hour long races, which I'll actually show you guys some of the pictures here in this video of the different wins and stuff we've got with the car. And these are races that had 90 to 120 cars in it. Overall wins, like pretty exciting stuff. We were, we were kind of known as the team to beat in Florida when it came to the Champ Car Series and winning at Daytona and Sebring, both historic tracks. Get to park in Victory Lane at both of those tracks was really awesome. And maybe we'll get to do it again with this car. Although in the three years that we haven't raced in the series, things have gotten faster. Speaking of that, next Tuesday, which I think this video is probably gonna come out on Saturday, next Tuesday I'm going racing with this thing at Palm Beach International Raceway in an eight hour enduro. Obviously we'll bring you guys along for that. And uh, another good buddy that's a YouTuber, you guys might know him, yeah, I think you might know him. He's gonna be driving with me. 
I think we may have to change the seat for him because uh, he's kind of a tall fella. That's enough hints. But yeah, we're going racing. And those videos do take me a little while to edit because there is a lot of footage. But we are going to get this thing up on the lift probably later in this video. See if we can get up on the lift, show you guys underneath it. But designed just for the endurance racing. See, it's got no cooling fan on it. The hood venting helps kind of get air out of it. This hole here is so that we can access the oil fill. Because when it comes to endurance road racing, you, you kind of end up using some oil in the things for whatever reason. So we can get to the dipstick through that hole right there. And typically the way we would do it is about halfway through the race, we would just dump two quarts of oil in this thing. I can see it's dirty. It's fresh off of its last race at Sebring where we won another 14 hour deal. I think, I think we had nine wins with this car out of the years that we ran it from 2013 all the way to 2018, we kind of backed off and then 2019 we ran Sebring. Everybody just got busy. David had a couple of kids himself. I had my kids. We backed off from racing as much like we were. We were doing three to four races a year with it and we backed off to just Daytona and Sebring and we kept winning, which was awesome. But yeah, she's gonna need some cleaning. May have to put some, some kind of different decals on it so that we can show it, make it look a little different from when David owned it. Our uh, little badge to play with people that were griping about us in tech. This is actually a Lexus SC300, just like the other, my other car. And I had bought another car. We'll walk out back of the shop here. So you can kind of see I've got a little fleet of them. Got the red one, got the white one, got the green one back there. White one has no motor. Green one has a motor, but it's an automatic transmission. This car I bought and was going to turn it into a fun street car, but honestly, I'm just really too busy. That's why I bought that one because it's already built and I can go racing literally next week. So this car, I think I'm probably going to sell. So if anybody is interested in that, it's automatic transmission, 2JZ for the power plant. Good little street car. I've driven it back and forth to work a little while. We've got it tagged and insured and all that stuff. But email us at uh, sales at winwithksr.com and we'll get back in touch with you, you know, about what we're gonna do with it or what we're gonna sell it for. I can go over that, go over the details of it a little bit more with whoever's interested in buying it. But uh, yeah, we'll get this thing up on the lift here and show you a little bit more in depth of what's going on with it. See you back in just a second. Hey, it doesn't do that anymore. Yeah, but it's, I'm still gonna do it. Just tradition. Just tradition? Yep. For good time's sake. That's it. Something so like we that. got us a new Ben Pack transmission lift, but uh, we're not lifting a transmission right now. We are dropping the front subframe so that we can change this little sub oil pan to the one that I built for my SC, my other SC. Drop this down to get that pan off and then we're gonna have to switch cars and then do the whole reverse process to get these swapped. Maybe if we had more lifts. We're working on it. I'm just saying. Working on it, we're working on it. So why are we putting this other pan on there when we've raced this car and won a whole ton with it with this oil pan on it? track we're going to race at next week, Palm Beach International Raceway, has two very long corners back to back. If I remember right from when we went there in 2011, one corner is eight seconds one direction, big 180 degree sweeper. The other corner is eight and a half, nine seconds back the other direction. So there's a lot of oil that gets sloshed around and at least in my opinion, we wanna have the extra oil so that uh, we can handle those long corners. The last time we were there, we had our 300ZX, which you guys really haven't seen yet, but it's coming. Um, 
and it oil starved and was hurting the rod bearings very shortly into the race, but it ended up blowing a head gasket and we retired from that race. But anyway, we've got to get this out and swapped. Who's, who's jamming and framing on something? Struggling. We got to get the steer shaft loose maybe. I think it's stuck on a bolt or something. It's stuck on the stove. So stay tuned. We can kind of see under this thing. It's got some, it's got a little trick, trick exhaust here with a merge collector. A little bit extra trickery there. Actually a two and three quarter inch exhaust pipe is, that's what the math said is all it needed. A little bit lighter than the exhaust that's on my car, which is a stainless three inch that came with the car. And then we chopped it up and made it better, I think. But for too much longer, we'll be taking this thing out and beating it around on the street a little bit just to make sure everything is good. It has sat for a couple of years. Change all the fluids in it, which uh, this is the oil we love to use in our road race stuff. Motul 300V competition oil. Take a smell of that. Can you smell it? Oh wait, you guys are on camera. This is really good smelling oil. I know that's weird, but it smells good. I always get people with that when I'm like, hey, smell this oil. It smells good, I promise. All right, well, we got some work to do. Be back in just a minute. All right, well, we kind of uh, took some things apart discovered that we had a valve cover gasket leak and uh, with this particular 2JZ the intake comes back over the top of the engine so new valve cover gaskets the oil pan is almost ready to go back on I had an oil leak right here so I welded that up again fixing all sorts of little things on the oil pan but that's the oil pan from the 226 which is out there with the old oil pan off of this car. CJ's out here loading us up for heading to the track. As you can see, we've got lots of fuel jugs, two sets of new tires. We should only need one set of tires. Actually, when Lee, David, and myself are racing this car, we would get two to three races out of pads and tires, which sounds crazy, but we did that while we were winning, so. We were definitely running the car hard and still barely using the consumables on the car. I'll have to see how uh, me and my co-pilot do on Tuesday. I don't know if I should say who it is. You probably, probably figured out who it is. I'm squinting because it's really bright out here. I think we've decided to go ahead and change the seat, which we'll do that probably Monday morning, first thing. Because if we can, uh, if the seat fits Drew, we should be good. You told him you're past your uh, co-pilot yet? No. Nope. Ooh. <laughs> That's a good hint. Co-pilot is Drew-sized. <laughs> Plus a little bit. Plus a little bit, yeah. That's a good point. It's not, it's yeah, not Drew. You guys probably already know. It's not Drew. The co-driver might take a pinch to that. It's not. Co-driver might take a pinch to that? Maybe. <laughs> Hopefully the other seat goes in pretty easily. I know, uh... Yeah, we'll have to see if how easy the Momo comes out. And how much fabricating we have to do. Hopefully not a lot. But I haven't said it already, this car is pretty much where win with KSR came from. Like literally, I think we have a nine wins in this car. Let me look at the... Let me take a look at the text from old David. So we actually have eight wins in this car in the Champ Car Endurance Series, uh, three at Daytona and five at Sebring. And there was a stretch there where we ran only Daytona and Sebring and we won six races in a row. And then we broke something and finished almost last, broke the transmission while leading, which was a bit of a bummer. Fixed that, came back and won the next race. First race the car did, it finished fourth at Road Atlanta. Second race, it finished third. We were leading the first race at Road Atlanta and it got spun off into the gravel trap by a renter and it overheated and we didn't realize it, but it had warped the cylinder head before we went to Daytona. And it was way down on power because it was overheating. We were putting water in at every pit stop. That was a nightmare of a race, but we had Randy Popes driving with us and we were able to get it 
to third place at the end of that race. And uh, it, was, uh, it was a good time. And then we went on our streak of winning all over the place. Back to back to back to back to back to back to back. And hopefully we're gonna continue that trend on Monday. You throw out the one DNF and this car has an average finish of like 1.3 or something like that. Which I know I'm really jinxing myself saying stuff like that, but we're gonna continue the trend, right Drew? I hope so. Otherwise you're quitting? Yeah. Yeah. No. 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 Just kidding. Anyways, I know David had just put a timing belt. What the heck? Mitsuboshi? So it's got a Mitsuboshi timing belt in a Toyota 2JZ. That's just weird. No, no. It's a Lexus 2JZ. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a Lexus. Yeah, Lexus. Maybe that's different than the Toyota 2JZ. I don't know if I'll wrap this video up there or not. Maybe no. I should go do a burnout with it. it you gotta have burnout. Gotta have burnout with it. One split for safety. Yeah, y'all haven't even heard the, how this thing runs, so. Ah, oh, but I need something. I need something today. Hmm. All right, well, we'll see if we can get this thing back together and maybe, maybe go for a little spin here in just a minute. I'm ready to go. You ready to go? I've been waiting on you. I had to set up my camera. I'm... And of course, I used the slow drying paint so that. Oh, hey, hey, hey. oh son of a out. biscuit. Is this your first time? Apparently. This guy. This you didn't guy. need that sealed up. You didn't get the screen, so you're good. Stop the camera. Start over. Can't let anyone see a mistake. All right, serious time. All right, you ready? All right, I'm ready. Let's go. A little bit of something on there still. All right, so I I painted it with slow drying paint so that while we were handling it, it'd be nice and tacky wet and stuff. We good? Yep. Uh -huh. Yep. Still good? Yep. Still good? I think so. You trying to put it on the stud? I am. Come towards me a little bit. I'm hitting something. Oh, the steering. Oh. CJ, can you do something? I don't know. Oh, you did it. We go on? Yeah, I'm on on one side. Not to get my stuff in my Okay, oh, good, CJ. I'm gonna just set that on the ground. Kind of aimed up here. I'm not on the stud back here. Oh, I am on the stud. We can get a nut on that. All right, so we are going to let this set up and then tomorrow we'll come in, crank it up, drive it around. Got some brake pads coming in for the rear. Thought I had some, but I don't. Got plenty of the front pads, which those take a couple of months to get. And we've got plenty of those, probably because I ordered like five sets of them the last time we were racing these cars. So we'll put some brake pads in it. We got to wash it and we got to change the seat. And then we'll be loading up to head to PBIR. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Appreciate everybody watching, subscribing. Hope you uh, like our new hot rod and uh, enjoyed the trip down memory lane. Flat Out Racing was our, our team name for the Champ Car Endurance Series. I'm looking forward to getting back in a uh, road race again. It's been a while since we've done any kind of road racing with Champ Car, actually since 2020 is the last time I uh, ran a car on road race track and that was at Daytona and I wrecked it yeah I wrecked that's where the start of the destruction of the Lexus happened the that one because I crashed it twice in the same race not big wrecks but bad enough so like I said that's going to wrap it up for this video appreciate everybody watching and subscribing we kind of blew past 270,000 subs which is amazing you guys are awesome see you guys next time Next video is uh, Death Metal Charger again with Finnegan. See you then.